Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2017 67 plate Mercedes Benz GLA 220D 4MATIC AMG line, finished off in a lovely metallic grey. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the car, then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the vehicle once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, it's used them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start, we're going to zoom back in and we'll look over the car panel by panel so the near side front wing looks in good condition near side front door looks good near side rear door looks good and the near side rear quarter looks good as well near side front alloy looks in really nice condition one or two tiny marks but nothing major and the near side front tire approximately five mil remaining moving down the near side all panels look in good condition one or two tiny little marks to be polished up and touched in but other than that looks in nice condition near side rear alloy another nice condition alloy only one or two light marks of corrosion other than that looks in really good condition and the near side rear tire approximately five or six mil remaining looking back down the near side now from rear to front near side rear quarter looks good near side rear and front doors look in good condition and the near side front wing looks good Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Rear bumper looks in good condition, as do all of the lower trims. For the age of mileage of the car, looks in really nice condition. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition as well. Rear screen looks good with a factory privacy glass, and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well. Looking down the off side of the car now, from rear to front, off side rear quarter looks good offside rear and offside front door they look good and the offside front wheel looks good offside rear alloy same again really nice condition alloy one or two light marks of corrosion but other than that in good condition and the offside rear tire approximately five or six mil remaining moving down the offside again panels look really good one or two tiny marks to be polished up and touched in but other than that looks good offside front alloy nice nice condition alloy one or two tiny marks again a little bit of corrosion but other than that really nice condition and the offside front tire approximately six mil five or six mil looking back down the offside now from front to rear offside front wing looks good both offside doors look good and the offside rear quarter looks good moving around the front of the car now we're going to check out all lights and grills on the front bumper itself as you can see offside lights and grills center and near side lights and grills look good as for the front bumper for the age of the car looks really good one or two small marks to be polished up and touched in with a genuine touch up paint just along the front there as you can see but other than that looks in really good condition final panel to look over is the bonnet as you can see the paintwork looks in good condition no major dents scratches or anything like that just the one actually on this offside as you can see just along that swage line we'll get that flat polished and touched up with the uh, correct touch up paint prior to sale and then as you'd expect for the age of mileage of the car one or two just along the front to be touched in as well before we make our way through the interior of the car we'll check out the front screen no major chips or cracks up our light surface markings near the center but other than that looks in good condition Now we'll make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boots. Power tailgate on this car, which is a nice feature. Nice sizable boot on these GLA 60-40 split folding rear seats. All carpets and plastics, other than some minor wear and tear, are in good condition. These mats, if they fall this car and fit, it's a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our cars. Parcel shelf looks in nice condition, and then all the plastics underneath the boot lid look good as well. Moving through the inside now. Rear door cars look good. There you have the half leather, half cloth with the red stitching bench, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, and Isofix fittings to both outer seats. Charcoal headlining throughout. Backs of both front seats look good, and the rear carpets look good as well. Moving through the front, front door cars look good. Front carpet's in nice condition. There you have the front seats. Again, bolster still firm, holding their shape, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears. No cigarette burns, there's no traces of any odours or anything like that. 
No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. We'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as we can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable side mirrors, central locking control system from the driver's door handle, automatic lights and wipers in this car. Moving across, we've got cruise on the stop underneath the indicators. Two usable cup holders, couple of storage compartments. We've got dual air conditioning with recirculation. We've got the Mercedes Dynamic Select driving modes, both screens as you can see. We do have reversing camera. Moving through the MMI, as you can see we've got FM and AM radio. In media we've got Bluetooth, audio, streaming, SD card and a CD player as well. Navigation, just requires an SD card as you can see. Telephone prep as well. Moving back over to the driver's side, we're finished off with this leather bound flat bottom multifunction steering wheel with the contrasting red stitching and the upgraded flappy paddles. And this car is on 48,972 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 Travel 5. Thank you again.